Okay. All right. All right. So thank you, everybody. It is 703 and we're going to go ahead and get started. So I appreciate everybody for, uh, first of all, taking the time out to join because you're going to learn a lot in this, in, in this presentation today. Um, this is, um, this is a lot of years in me studying and practicing. Um, anybody who, who knows me personally, you know, um, I, I do a lot of, you know, I do a lot of speaking. I do a lot of um, learning, reading. I'm always talking about books. Um, I love networking. And um, this is just everything that you're going to learn today is years of, of things that, um, that, that I've been able to learn and compile. And I'm going to try to get as much as I can within this, um, within this 30 minutes. We're going to be here together. So, um, so, so the name is kind of funny. Um, it's my weird procrastination avoidance technique that's currently helping me make, helping me out hustle my competition every single day without feeling stressed and overwhelmed. And, um, and I told you this for a real particular reason because I'm gonna show you some some specific techniques that you can use to sort of avoid procrastination to be more productive. So um, I recommend you get a pen, paper, pencil, whatever you got to do, and um, try to eliminate the noise that's in the background because these are literally strategies that I didn't just come up that I didn't come up with. These are these are things that I've learned from talking to millionaires personally and from being able to read, you know, new, you know, everything. Um, books and conversations and seminars I went to and, and courses I purchased and been a part of. So um, thousands of dollars, thousands, you know, hundreds and to thousands of hours of research and study and time and money invested in what you're getting ready to learn. All right. So it's exciting. And we're going to go ahead and, and get started with this. All right. And it's going to be very fast paced as well. All right. So first, um, so um, if you don't know me, uh, you know, of course, my name is Terrell Jones, but I'm also, you know, author, public speaker. I do some online trainings. Um, I have an online course. Um, I do everything. You know, you probably see me on social media posting a lot of different, uh, you know, motivational quotes and things of that nature. And particularly what I do is um, I'm, a per, I'm a productivity coach. And specifically, I train people on how to be more productive in a personal and professional life. So whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're an everyday person, I train people on how to really just get more things done and make massive uh, progress uh, within their life. Okay, so um, so what today's goal is, um, I want to make it real clear. Today, I have a few goals for you today. And um, the goals I want is, one, I want to make sure that you understand why procrastination is so dangerous and what can you use to sort of just like eliminate, like stop being procrast, you know, stop procrastinating. So I'm going to teach you that. Also, I, I want you to learn some, some different ways that you can start making progress every day. And it's the little progress every day. That's going to make a difference towards you getting that body that you want, right. Or you getting that job that you want, or if you start in a business, how do you get your first customers? How do you start doing things? It's all going to be, you know, daily little things. And then also, you know, how do you achieve uh, how to achieve your projects without feeling stressed from from the social pressure? I know you know that there's sometimes there's people, um, you know, many of us we feel like if we're trying to succeed or we're trying to do something that you know it's other people that you know we either leave it now or you know sometimes a lot of people have um, anxiety around you know trying to go somewhere or do something with their life and they feel like other people's gonna feel neglected or you know it's gonna have impact you know on their kids and or, you know on, on other people around them so I'm gonna show you um, in this webinar these are the, some of the things I want you to know now there's two types of um, there's two types of people that um, that that I'm really gonna be talking to in this webinar one is gonna peep it's gonna be the people who procrastinate these are the people who are, you know, and there's nothing wrong with procrastinating because we all procrastinate at times, but these are going to, these are for the people who are really trying to, that are trying to find a way to like, just get more things done, but they can't really find, they, they can't really get themselves motivated to do it. You know, they, they need more, you know, structure, habits, um, routines in their life. And what do those things look like? And how do I get that? And then the second um, type of person is pretty much the exact opposite. The person who has like so much things going on, right? They're doing a lot of activity. They're really busy. But at the end of the day, we both know being busy is totally different than being productive. So how do you how do you switch from your belief of what I'm doing now is busy, busy, busy. I'm working all day. I got to go here. I got to go this place. I got to do this. I got errands. I got to do all these things. How do you go from that to a person who every to you being productive and doing the thing that act, doing the things that actually matter? So that's that's really what we want to talk about. So if you're in one of those two categories, 
um, or somewhere in between, you're good. If you're just on here because you think you're just going to make some extra money, I want to be productive. I'm an entrepreneur. I just want to figure out how I can make some money tomorrow or next week. This is probably not the webinar for you because it's, you know, these things could take time. Um, and um, you don't need the biggest results, um, but you just need to start making what going in the right direction. So that's what we're going to be really looking at and talking about today. All right. So my goal for you particularly is one, I want to make, I want to prove to you so that productivity is the most important thing that you need to do in order to achieve any goal, any dream. At the end of the day, if you're not making progress towards your goals and your dreams, then, you know, if you're not stepping towards it, you know, every day or at, at some frequency, then, um, then you're never going to get there. And, and it could be anything. It don't, it don't have to just be, you know, you being in business. It could be you at your job. You want to get a promotion. It could be, you know, anything with health, anything that you want to get done. But you have to be productive because, at the end, like, we, like I just said, activity is, is, not, is not the end or be all. You have to actually be doing the right type of things, right type of activity. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing, I want to just demonstrate how more productive days is the best way for you to get there. And more productive with days is um, it's actually um, a program that I have um, that, that, that really is going to give you the full scope. Of course, I'm going to try to stuff as much stuff I can in, within this 30 minutes, but um, I'm actually, actually um, getting ready just to finish up a course. Actually, I'm just finishing up the course of um, or more productive days, but I'll tell you more about that later. All right. So. Um, one first, I just want to let you know, I'm living proof. You know, some people saw me like this back in the day, right? And even my early days of, of when I went to my HBCU, Virginia State University. Um, and so it's funny, you know, pants hanging down, you know, earrings, everything, right? So this was the guy that I was, you know, back in the day. And this is, and, and it's not hard to tell that I didn't have a lot of structural routines. I didn't read a lot of books. I didn't, I wasn't really on this, um, on this, 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 uh, productivity and personal development journey, you know, but as I started, but as I started to read, as I started to learn, as I started to get around people that were, you know, that, that were intelligent and that were really, you know, making money and that were doing big things in their life, then that's when I started doing, doing things like graduating with my bachelor's degree, which is on the left. And that's my mom. I'm hugging and kissing. And on the right is uh, graduating with my master's degree. And that's my uh, grandmother on the right, you know, so just being productive. And I don't always want you to think about it as it has to be the biggest thing in the world. Being productive could, all, could, could be you just, you know, getting, getting some good grades. It could be you just, you know, just accomplishing a project on time or accomplishing it in a certain way, or, you know, you making, you know, your first sale, if you're an entrepreneur, whatever the case is. So, um, you know, it don't have to be big things, but for me, these, these are just some of the results that from, things that some of the things that you learned that you're going to learn on this webcast the you know this is these are um is 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 what was the result for me so it allowed me to you know do everything from you know speak to kids you know go to classes and speak you know which is you know which are the top two um pitches on the left it allowed me to meet um eric thomas you know et the hip-hop preacher if you know about him you know just just influencing millions of people around the world but it allowed me to have personal conversations with him and you know just within you know uh just within meeting within maybe five to ten minutes of, of meeting him and his team you know i was able to get you know to get his personal email address you know and i'm able to talk to him so you know it's it's just these type of things you know me talking and you know doing um um, on the on the bottom left, me doing blog videos and vlogs and everything, and you know, in the middle, of me being able to meet people like Malik Yoba and you know, again and getting his personal information as well, when being able to talk to him and you know, get guidance to do different things of that nature, and being able to write a book. So you know, it, all none of this would have ever happened from graduating to anything you know that that was that's on this screen would have never happened if I didn't do certain if I didn't do the right activities to get me in certain places and for me to open up certain opportunities, you know, uh, for myself. So, you know, that's, that's just, you know, what being productive did for me in some of the things in my life. So particularly today, we're going to be talking about three things. I want to cover three secrets. And, um, these are the secrets that you should have seen that you should have seen already. Uh, one, the first secret is I'm going to show you how to overcome procrastination with my daily impact planner. What is a daily impact plan? I'm gonna tell you exactly um, what that is because that's gonna be the first thing we're talking about. Um, but um, just know that it's not gonna is it, it, you, you might not like it because because 
Uh, I'm probably going to take away you sitting down and watching a whole season of Orange is the New Black, all right? But I'm, I'm going to show you uh, exactly um, what that is. And then the second secret is I'm going to show you the, the number one dream killer that's destroying your progress every day. Many people, I would argue most people um, are, are killing a progress. And um, it's just one thing that's really, um, that's really doing it. And um, you probably don't even know you're doing it subconsciously, but, but, it, but it's really killing you. And then, um, <clears throat> and then also I'm gonna show you about, um, we're gonna talk about um, secret number three is how to focus on your priorities. So other people don't feel neglected and you know, people that's in your life, you might have a wife, you might have a husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, you have coworkers, um, you know, you have friends, you have family, you know, how do you focus on your goals and the things that you want to accomplish without making them feel neglected and like they're not wanted. And, you know, you could, you could have a cl clean conscience about that. So these are the main three things that we're going to talk about today. Now, few reasons why you should be productive. I'm going to show to go through this, but a few reasons why you should be more productive. Of course, um, family, hobbies, you know, never want to feel regret. That's me. That's the number one thing I never want to feel. At the end of my life, when I'm getting ready to croak and I'm on a hospital bed, I do not want to feel regret. I want to be able to, you know, know that I gave my all, my full potential every single day. Um, as I, you know, as I, as I go through my life, cause I, I'm always just afraid that I'm a, you know, I, I'll go to heaven and, you know, God is going to sit me down in front of this big flat screen TV. He's going to say, okay, Terrell, you know, you lived a good life, but, um, this is what you could have accomplished had, had you give your full potential throughout your life. And then he click on the TV and I got to watch my whole life. This is how your life went. This is how your life could have been had you really um, giving your all, I had, I had you, you know, uh, uh, you know, gave your full potential, or had you really been productive and took action towards your dreams every day. So I'm scared to death of that. So that's why it's like I'm on the money, and I want to teach everybody I know um, the things that I'm learning and, and to be on the money too. And then of course, you know, spend time. If you have any ideas, or anything, or entrepreneurial endeavors, or whatever the case is, if you're excited about those things, then um, then um, you'll be able to have time to do that. And then of course, you can make more money. And just let you know that you can do this. You know, sometimes we get impatient, but you got to continuously keep working on it and, um, and grinding. You can make it happen. All right. So this is my story. Okay. My story of how I got into this whole journey, me being a coach, learning and all that good stuff. Right. I'm not going to make it too long, but I, I want you to understand my background. First, I came straight out of the hood. Right. It should have been straight out of the Bronx, New York. Right. I should have had a movie called that because um, I went from the hood to high education. I grew up in a, I grew up in a neighborhood that no child should have ever seen i grew up around drug dealers crackheads um you know uh uh gang fighting um every any gangs fight everything that you prostitution anything that you could think of right i that's from the hood new york city that's that's what i came from but i was able to leave out of that environment and i was able to you know be inspired in order to go to college but i got to college it was a whole new journey for me too right i was so ignorant coming out of coming coming from my hood going into college is that when I first came to colleges, right? I didn't know what a fraternity or sorority was when I first got to college, right? Most people didn't know that. Don't know that. I came to college and I remember just walking on campus and I'm seeing, I'm looking around and I'm seeing people throwing up uh throwing up um signs and wearing all I'm seeing groups of people wearing the same color, right? throwing up signs to each other. I'm like, yo, what? What is going on? What am I looking at right now? I'm like, I'm so ignorant. I'm thinking I'm looking at a gang, right? But what, what was it? What did I see on campus? Fraternities and sororities, right? So, um, and, you know, so that, that always just, you know, just sort of tickles me a little bit. But, you know, but that was my mindset. But, um, you know, but what, what really changed for me in my journey was the fact that, um, you know, I was a broke college student. I remember I was, you know, just trying to find food for money. Because as soon as I got to college, my mom was like, listen, I'm not paying none of your bills no more, you know, you got to handle things on your own. So I remember just looking for a job and I ended up having a friend come up to me and say, you want to make some extra money? And I'm like, yeah. So at this point in time, he put me in, now this is, this is like real early. This is probably maybe I'm like a sophomore at this time. Right. And, um, you know, I joined the network marketing company and it was joining that network marketing company that really changed it for me. And not necessarily because um, you know, because I was the most passionate about it, although, you know, I felt like it was a good company at the time, but from what I learned and the type and the person that I became, you know, so, you know, there was a time with the, the, the real turning point for me was 
I joined the company, right? I want to make some extra money. And, um, you know, I was just sort of struggling and, you know, just trying to figure this, figure this thing out. And um, I remember going to a seminar and going to the seminar, they told, they talked about, um, they talked about this, this book that they have called the profiles of success and this profiles of success book. So um, was uh, everybody in the company who was making between six figures and a million plus. So if you made six figures or a million plus, your name was in this book. And I remember them going through the pro the books, the um, profile success book. Hey, this guy was, you know, this guy was a doctor and he made a million dollars. This this guy was a plumber, he made five hundred thousand dollars. And as I'm listening to them, they also talking about their journey and how they, you know, and how they, you know, how they made money and became successful. So I'm like, man, I could, I think I could really do this. You know, I think I could do this. And they had students on campus too. That was even at the seminar that was making money on campus. So I said, all right, this is, this is what I'm going to do. I said, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to make it happen. So I ended up going on campus and, um, you know, and I was scared, you know, I was, to be honest, I was scared. I was excited at the fact that, okay, I felt like I could do it. But I was still scared of that rejection. I didn't want to get rejected from, you know, from friends and family and have people not picking up your phone call and the people not wanting to talk to you and, you know, and all those things that, you know, that just come with you having a business and, you know, being part of one and you just want to share it with people. So, you know, I was afraid, but, you know, through the, through the rejection and through it hurting me, um, you know, it, it set me back a little bit. But the thing that really changed it all for me was, you know, I just remembered, I just, just kept remembering, like, if these people can do it, I can do it. And my father always told me, if it's anything that anybody else can do, you can do too. So, you know, as I learned, I started applying more, I started applying more concepts. I started, you know, I started, you know, going to more seminars. Now this went from me, remember, I came from the hood. I just got introduced to an opportunity. This came from me being, um, me not making money or doing anything at first and not doing good until I went to the seminar, right? Because before I didn't have any structure, I didn't have any routines, I didn't have any habits, I didn't read, I didn't watch nothing. So I went to the seminar, it got me excited to learn more, right, about, all right, how do I make things happen? How do I, like, just be more productive in, on campus and make more money, right? It went to that, and to me having to jump on calls. I started jumping on calls with millionaires and say, this is how you can make more money. I started going to more seminars. I started reading books. Hey, every week you got to read a certain amount of pages of books. You know, hey, every, you got to have a support system around you that's going to help you be successful. And as I started doing those things, I started making money. I started making money on campus, and I was making hundreds of dollars on campus through this network marketing company. And, um, you know, that's what really helped me get a lot, you know, uh, get, get myself financially a lot through college. And um, it was all because of that that really helped me, you know, go from, like, looking back now, I can see how I wasn't making any money or how I wasn't, you know, making progress. And as I started making money on campus, I said, I wonder if I use these same strategies in, in during my school and uh, my, you know, my, my studies and what would, I, what would I be able to accomplish then? So at that point in time, that's when it allowed me to, you know, graduate, start to get better grades and things of that nature. So, you know, so, you know, hopefully you can see like, this is like, it, you're taking your learning seriously and really just, just taking it based step by step that, you know, it could, it could really make a difference because it made a difference for me. Now, I'm not the only person who did this. Um, you know, I, I have people that, um, you know, just every day I'm, I'm always talking to people. I've always been mentoring people, even since I was for the past nine plus years, I've been mentoring people during my undergrad at um, at Virginia State University. Um, I joined a, um, a mentoring organization and, this, and, and it's been since that mentoring organization up until up until today that I've really just been mentoring and helping. And, you know, I've been it's been a lot with students, probably you know, maybe for the first, you know, eight, eight and a half years. Um, but, you know, um, but really, at least within the last year, I would say, you know, I've really just been expanding it and helping more other people be productive too, entrepreneurs, people who are working nine to five and other types of people. So I just want to let you know, this is not, it's not just me. And it don't matter how big or how small your results, as long as you're getting results in the right direction is what I say. So, um, so, you know, there's, um, so I have um, one client, her name is Amani, and um, if she's on here, I'm pretty sure she's laughing right now. Um, but, you know, so just talking to her, you know, I remember her telling me that she was in a situation where, you know, she graduated school about four or five years ago, 
And it was hard for her to, you know, just to get a, a job in social work. It was like, I'm working all of these other jobs. I'm a manager for this job. I'm doing all this, but I'm not in a place where I'm doing my passion, what I really love to do. So, um, you know, so, you know, we had a conversation and, um, you know, and I just gave her some simple productivity strategies that she could use, but this is somebody who actually put it into play. So, you know, this is, you know, after, you know, talk to her maybe a month or so, and maybe even a week, a couple of weeks, a week, couple of weeks to a month or so later, I end up talking to her and she tells me this, you know, I've been wanting to get into social work for the past five years since my college graduation. I've been stuck in retail and there's been so many distractions. She said, after your coaching, I've been able to remove most of my distractions, social media, and Netflix. Like, that was like her kryptonite, right? She was like, ah, like, I, I always on social media, and like, I love Netflix. As soon as I come home, I have to watch it. So, um, but she said, but she took some of those, some of that time, two, three hours that she was spending on, you know, watching Netflix and skiing doing all of that and took some of that time and used it to start applying to jobs. I was in the social field. So, um, she, you know, she started getting interviews and, you know, think things would be good. So, you know, now she's on the verge of, of, of being hired. So, you know, it don't have to be the biggest results in the world, but as long as you take your steps in the right direction. So now, um, talking about secret, we're going through the first secret. And um, this first secret is how to overcome procrastination using a daily impact planner. So this daily impact planner I, I created, right? And this is, but this is um, a composite of a few different, um, a few different, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, things that I've been looking at. A few different, um, you know, uh, celebrities and 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 the world's best entrepreneurs, and you know, so it's sort of like I took a composite of that and I, and I put it together. And to, to what I thought would be the greatest, most productivity tool that you, that's out right now. So how I, how I want you to think about this is, this is, the, this is your dashboard for the day, right? This is your dashboard. Like, this is like, what I do every single day is I print this out. And, or, or what I've been doing recently is um, I just, I have it on my computer. But every single day, I'm filling this out. What are my main projects that I need to accomplish? Who do I need to reach out to? Who am I waiting for? You know, what are my top distractions that are, that are going to distract me today? Because at the end of the day, everybody here, everybody that's watching us right now, we all have distractions at the end of the day. So you got to figure out what your top three are. What are your priorities that you need to get done? And you have to be able to anticipate some ad adversity. Things come up throughout your day. So what do you, so, you know, how do you anticipate that? So um, it's important because it's going to help you stay on track. And that's the most important thing. Stay on track on what with what's important for you. Because, um, like for me, like one of my heart, one of my, the toughest thing, one of the toughest things for me sometimes is just to stay focused. And you know, I remember like me like times, plenty of times where you know, I remember, well, I remember this one time. You know, I was just so un it was just like so hard for me to focus at work and the reason was because i had my phone right next to me right so i remember like me just having all like social media going off i have like facebook you know how you got the little red dot over the facebook icon i'm seeing uh messages come through on that i'm seeing messages come through on my group me i'm seeing emails popping in i got people knocking at you know knocking on my cubicle door right hey come in just stopping by and i'm getting like all these distractions random phone calls throughout the day and um uh, it was and i was just like blaming everybody else because i'm like this is this is just too hard for me to stay focused you know um uh, but you know, I remember like, like I said, through my learnings, I remember that I'm like, all right, I have to stop this. And what I started doing is I started just being, I started just getting more intelligent about my distractions. I said, you know what? First of all, you can turn off all, not I, I, I could turn off all notifications on my phone. So I said, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Because every time you, you focus in on something and you get distracted by a text message, a phone call, somebody stops by, whatever the case is, like, it's going to throw you off your focus. It's going to throw you off whatever project you're doing. And it's going to waste time. So I turned off all my, I turned off um, my Facebook instant notifications. I turned off my email instant notifications. It's going to be hard at first. You're like, I need it. Ah, ah. But it's going to be, but, but you got to do it. Um, I turned off my group me, group me and kill, group me, kill you if you don't turn your group me off, right? So I had to turn off my group me. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to be able to control when I looked at it. Not anytime somebody sends a message to me, I'm grabbing my phone because now I'm wasting time. I have control over my day. I have control over my time. So it's important for me to say, okay, now I want to go check my group me. Now I want to check Facebook. I want to check Instagram. I set times aside to do that instead of every time it 
every time something flickers or beeps or, or vibrates, I'm picking it up and looking at it and it's wasting time every time. I'm doing that a hundred times a day, right? So that's why it's one of the reasons I have this, this daily impact pin is important because you know what's important um, throughout your day. You can also look at it as your daily GPS. This, as long as you're following this, you on the right path, right? And um, this is the real reason why I made money in college. Although I didn't create this while I was in college, I was doing these type of things with what in college. What are the most important things I need to be paying for? All right, I got to make these phone calls today. I, I, let me not like talk to people. Let me like get in like the library and go into like a little room and make these phone calls or let me do something. So I was doing these to, 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 um, types of things. So, you know, so we talked about each element already that has a purpose and um, I'll let you know a little bit more about this later. Okay. So that is the first, um, so that's the first one that we went through first secret. Second secret we're talking about is your number one dream killer. The number one dream killer, number one dream killer is distractions. You probably would have never guessed it, right? But the number one dream killer is distractions. And distractions really kill us a lot. We talked a little bit about this already, but, you know, it's important that, that you know that you, you, a lot of your time, so like small, I remember this, um, watching this one video. Um, from from this um, from from a personal development speaker, and he said, "Some more holes sink the ship." That means one little hole is not gonna is not gonna hurt, but you have all these holes gonna sink the ship. We heard we all heard about you know death by a thousand cuts, right? So all these little all these little cuts, you'll die. So that's exactly what distractions are like. They'll you know they'll take up a lot of time in your life, and you won't even really know it. So like for me, when I first started, when I first got into my career, right, doing cybersecurity. I remember me trying to get a, get a certification, right? That's the big thing in the cyber world. You got to get certification so people can respect you at the end of the day. So um, I'm doing all of these, you know, I'm, I'm studying and studying for months and months and months. But um, as I'm studying at the time, I didn't know it, but I was never focused. Like if I would have some time, if I'm at work and it would give us a certain amount of time to study, let's say if I had an hour or two hours to study, you know, during that time, I would probably be scrolling on Facebook. I'd probably be looking up stuff online. I'd be talking to my coworkers. And I never passed that exam. I've been studying for months, three, four months for this one exam. Cost $500 to get this one certification. Just to take the certification is $500. You got paid $500 every time. And, um, and, and I failed it. And I failed it, like, miserably. And the reason was I didn't give myself enough focus on it to really pay attention and understand the information. Well, I didn't realize that until years later, maybe. This was probably back in, like, 2011. And um, this, is probably, this is probably back in, like, 2011. And at that point in time, um, at that point in time, I had a, um, at that point in time, I had a, a, you know, I, I was just like not focused, but now I just got my first certification in cybersecurity probably back in like May of this year. But, and it, and I only, and I only studied guess for how long I only studied for five weeks before it took me five months, five weeks. I was able to get my certification. And that was because I was laser focused. You know, as soon as I came home, like four or five hours a day, just focus, boom, Focus for like an hour, probably take like a 10 minute break, drink, get back to it and just straight focus. And I was able to get in five weeks. More of the story is distractions are doing a lot more damage to you than you think. All right. And then also how to easily focus on all your priorities without making other people feel neglected. And right now we at seven, we at, um, we at 732. So I'm going to, I'm going to move a little bit more quickly right now because I want to respect everybody's time. But you know, um, one of the best, some of the best ways, I'm gonna give you three good ways that's gonna help you make, help you uh, easily focus on your priorities so you make other, people's feel, um, other people feel neglected. One, you gotta set the expectation of people. Set the expectation. If you have things that you need to get done throughout the office, at home, you got a wife, husband, you got kids, the reason why it's hard for you to focus and but it's because you're not you're not setting expectation for them. Either it's the reason why it's hard for you to focus, or you feel guilty about focusing because your wife or your husband or your boyfriend, girlfriend, or somebody else is making you feel guilty that you have to pay attention here, right? But you have to set the expectation. This is the time that you know that I'm gonna be working. You know, like there's been disagreements like recently, you know, many of you know that I, you know, I got married, I got married recently, and um, 
you know, and, you know, and things are not always going to be perfect, you know, especially here, I'm trying to make a difference and make it, you know, and change the world. And, um, you know, sometimes, you know, we have disagreements about when I should, you know, how long I should be working or when I should be working. But, you know, after, after a certain point in time, you know, it's like, you know, you come to, you got to set the expectation and come to, you know, agreement. Okay. Like this is going to be the time that I'm going to work, you know, and this be the time that I have to grind. And because if not, if you don't set any boundaries or any expectations, people are always just take your time at any, at any turn. And, you know, you don't just have to be that person could be at any point in time. So, you know, a lot of times you can't even, you can't even call me directly. Like a lot of times if you call me directly, like I don't, I don't usually even pick up on the first time or whatever the case is like, you have to like call me a few times in order for me. All right, well, this is like an extreme emergency, but outside of that, like I'm usually focused on what I'm doing. So you got to set the expectation of people and then, and then they'll get it. Then two, I want you to point them to other resources, point them. If somebody tries, tries to come up, you come up to you during your, your focus time and you're trying to get things done, point them to other resources at my job. People, sometimes people just love to stop. They feel like just because you're in a cubicle that's open, people could just stop by and interrupt you. You have to let them know, point them to other resources. I point when people stop me at work, I say, you know, Hey, Terrell, you got a minute. I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm actually on a tight deadline for this right now. Um, Okay. Um. Yeah. What do you need? Hey, I need X, Y, Z. Okay. All right. No problem. Um. You can find this here. Just go on the drive, the network drive. You can find this. Hey, talk to Charlie. You know, he actually knows more about that than me. And I. And I. You know, I point them other places. You know, because it takes up a lot. It takes up a lot of time at the end of the day. And you know, other people. People are actually more reliable than you think. And then also, um, schedule them on a set day and time. If it's that important and they just need you, set them on a certain day and time. All right. Cool. I'll be. I'll be. Uh, I'll be free at 11. You know, all right. Um, all right. Right now is not a good time for me. Talk to me, you know, you know, maybe, maybe a Friday we can have a conference call or whatever the case is, but you have to set that expectation. You know, have you ever wondered why it's so hard to get in contact with celebrities? I don't know if you ever like tried to call somebody who was like, it don't even have to be really a celebrity, but somebody who's like, has like a prominent position, maybe the top director of your department or the CEO or any kind of, you know, celebrities, gurus, or athletes. You ever tried to get in contact with them? You ever wondered you could never get directly in contact with them? Well, the reason is they pay, they, they pay so much attention to the things that, you know, to act, that things that actually matter. So like for the wedding, a lot of people don't know this, but for my wedding, um, we actually, the DJ who DJed for it, um, his name was DJ Scratchator. Um, and he actually is Busta Rhymes DJ. And I remember calling him, like, trying to just, you know, set up things, make arrangements. And this guy never picks up his phone. Like, he, like he never picks up his phone. And he always, you know, he'll, he may shoot a text back, or maybe, maybe not. But, or, but he'll call you on his time. And, um, or he'll schedule a time. Hey, you know, let's talk at this such and such time. He'll text you and say, all right, let's talk at tomorrow. I'm free tomorrow at 8 or whatever the case is. So, you know, I say all that to say, you have to be able to schedule people on a certain time and day. They'll, they'll understand if, you know, if, you know, if they really care about you and they care about what things that you have to do. All right. So, um, so we getting ready to finish this up. Um, but just putting all this stuff into play, you're going to save a lot of time and energy and, you know, it's really just going to help you make progress towards your goals. Okay. So that's what we have now. Just a few quick questions that these are some of the questions that I, I typically get. Um, how do I do this with family if I have other obligations? One, you could do this with family by, like I said, setting expectations for them. Um, you got to optimize your life. Just have things on a certain routine. Like for me, it was it was a point in time where I just woke up early because I know nobody in the world is up at that, at that time. You know, I know, you know, but if I had kids and I know other people who's very busy and they'll wake up at three o'clock in the morning to get work done or they'll wait to, you know, they'll wait to 10, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at work at night to get things done. So, you know, um, you know, just set those expectations. Uh, one. Um, we're doing all this prep work, take more time. Initially, it's going to feel like it's going to take more time because you got to, you got to print out the paper or, you know, I don't care if you write it in a journal, whatever the case is, but let's say if you print out the impact panel, you get it. You know, it's like, it's going to seem like it takes more time. Oh, I got to write out my projects, what I got to do today. I got to write out, I got to, I got to see who I got to call, but after a while, you're going to start making fast progress on it. And then, um, you know, I'm already official with my time. 
do I still need this? Yes, you still need this. Even if you feel like you're already productive, trust me, you're still using your phone. You're still texting, you know, while you're in the car. You're still texting while you're walking. You still, um, you still have all your notifications on. You're still allowing people to just interrupt you at any time. There's always another level that you can go, even if you feel like you're productive. So, you know, never, oh, never feel like you're perfect because nobody is perfect, you know, at this. All right. So. Um, there's so many questions. I got a lot of questions on this. So I just want, so if with your permission, I just want to quickly tell you about this course, um, whether you're interested or not. I mean, it's up to you, but I just want to tell you about this program real quick. Now the program is called, um, more productive days. And basically what it is, is five weeks of live training. There's some people on here that actually took that training, um, already, you know, just to sort of go through it and, you know, and, uh, help me provide some feedback on that. Um, so, you know, very, very good reviews on it. All right, so this is this is this is what the five weeks um, consist of. If you want to learn more about this stuff, like if you're interested in like, okay, I want to learn more about how to be productive and get things done, and you know, I want to like dive deep into this so I can start making progress. This that's what this course is for. And I and I made and like I said, it, I'm not acting like I'm the smartest guy in the world. This is these are things that I've taken from the world from you know other the the world's best. Everything from interviews, from personal conversations, from books, from other courses, like the, the, I, for me, taking a wide view and looking at everything and then saying, okay, boom, these are the common threads between everything that I've read, every book, every, every audio, every conversation, these are the common threads. So that's what you're looking at here within this course. And this, that's what I recorded. So it's five weeks. Uh, first week, uh, what well, is five weeks of it? And I, I'm going to just briefly go through it real quick. Um, since we're a couple minutes over, um, but it's five weeks uh, of the live training, and then each one, each session is about thirty to sixty minutes each. And each one of them, um, you'll get the recording. You'll get each uh, every lesson you'll get for a lifetime, and you'll be able to access it from all devices. Okay. Now, free, the first week one is week one and two. It's all about mastering your mindset, like mastering your beliefs. Obviously, if you're not getting everything that you want, like if you've been procrastinating too much, if you're not getting the things that you want, if you're not as productive as you want. One is is because you have a, a certain belief about certain things, and that belief is is holding you back from being more productive. Obviously, the people who are you know the world's best you know anything you know entrepreneurs or world's best you know I don't care if you talk about Kobe, LeBron. I don't care if you are talking about a, a a Tiger Woods. You're talking about an Oprah. You talk about a Richard Branson. You talk about a Mark Zuckerberg, right? You, the reason that they they were able to have the level of success that they have is because they believe they they have a different belief. They have a totally different belief than what regular or average people have, right? So what they believe allowed them to get to that place. So that's so so that's that's what this these first two weeks is about. Just mastering your mind. So. Um, so you're going to be learning things about how to discover your purpose, how to get clear about that, how you get clear about what you really want. How do you master your, you know, the, the mindset of achievement of, of these gurus? What, 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 are the, what are the things you need to really be thinking about? And um, how do you master your mind for maximum productivity? You know, how do you start getting your mind on the wavelength for productivity? So we're going to talk about that in the first two weeks. Um, then um, for week three, we're going to talk about energy rejuvenation. This is the hidden secret. Um, one of the hidden secrets is most people don't even think about the energy throughout the day. So I'm going to talk to you about any bo um, energy boosters, you know, getting the handle on your nutrition. I'm going to um, uh, work different workout routines that you can do in order to make sure you have the most amount of energy. Because at the end of the day, if you are tired, you're not going to get anything done. You can know all the strategies. You can have all the tips. But if you're if you're tired and you don't feel like doing anything and you know that it's been times you don't even feel like getting out of bed in the morning if you're too tired you know you don't feel like talking to people if i'm at work and i'm too tired if i went to sleep bed late, like bed if i went to to bed late i don't even feel like talking to people when i go to work i just i, I don't i just want to put my head down because like I, i'm i'm looking and i'm feeling crazy then week four, we're talking about unbreakable per, um, personal productivity. This is where you're really going to find proven ways to achieve any project. So this is where we get down to the nitty gritty. And I'm going to show you how to use the impact planner to make progress every day. I'm going to show you, all right, well, how do you how do you break things down that you want to accomplish into a project? And then how do you break those projects that you have down to the most important things that you need to do within those projects? How do you break down, let's say it's five to seven most important things you need to do to get that one big goal or that one big project? Then how do you break that down into the, the, the most valuable priorities you need in order to accomplish those things? So we're going to talk about that. And then a pyramid of persuasion, because at the end of the day, if you want to be more productive, 
you can't do it all by yourself. You got to be able to persuade people. You got to be able to leverage other people, right? The, the, the people in, in the world that are getting the most done, they're not doing everything. You don't see, um, you know, you, you don't, you don't see, um, you know, the CEO of Walmart, you know, packing bags, right? He's using leverage. So how do you persuade people to actually help you and how do you leverage them? So we're going to talk about that. And then week number five is really just about overcoming obstacles. How do you destroy self-doubt, negative thoughts? I'm going to show you how millionaires just get rid of obstacles, how you overcome life challenges, and then finally put an end to procrastination. We're going to really, really dive deep into procrastination because we didn't have that much time. Okay. Um, just a Sylvester Stallone story. Um, so I'm going to be real quick. If you know anything about Sylvester Stallone, then you know, you know, he, this guy started from nothing. Right. He went everything from struggling, getting kicked out of school to, to being, you know, one of the world's famous actors. But a lot of people didn't know he lived in his car and, and all types of stuff. But he grinded so much that and got rejected so much from trying to present his script to different directors and producers that um, he finally got one to say yes. And that's all he needed was that one, which which ended up grossing, um, grossing Rocky. 117 million dollars so all right so how much is this right obviously you know it's not just free so how do you how do you um so how much is this well i'm gonna show you i, I valued this course at 497 dollars which is actually really low compared to the amount of thousands of dollars that i've really spent learning and years of my life i put into this um because it took me 10 plus years to know this but you know i know that there, a lot of people are getting started in a productivity journey so it's not going to be 497 dollars to get into this course um it's actually only going to be $99. $99, you're going to be able to get access to this course, you know, thousands of hours of study, um, grinding 10 years plus, you know, of me learning. And um, that, that's what it's going to be for today um, to get into the course. Now, the guarantee is you get a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like it or, if, you know, I don't care if you don't like the color of my shirt, whatever the case is. Like, I'm so confident and I'm so proud of this course that um, that if you don't like it for any reason, I'll give you your money back, you know, and you can, you know, you can watch four weeks of it and say, you know what, you know, now nah, this is not for me. And I give you your money back because right now I'm not even really in it for the money, to be honest. Like I'm going to make this course way more expensive as I, as I make it better, as I add more things, I'm going to add like different, I'm going to add like interviews as I start interviewing celebrities and seeing what they are doing and be productive. So you can actually view it with your eyes as I add more stuff. If you get it now, you get it for free. Next time it's going to be way, it's going to be like 500% more than, than what it is right now. All right, but for staying on, I'm, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a special discount, and I'm gonna give it's gonna be fifty percent off of what you just saw. So this is what the actual price is. Actual price is forty nine dollars. That's it. I can't do nothing better for you. Forty nine dollars. You can get access to this course right now. Um, the course is already shot, and we're currently going through an additional. I'm giving everybody an additional five weeks of calls, so you can say, Hey, Terrell. You know, every week we're going to call, Hey, Terrell. I gotta. Um, you know. I'm going through this. How do I be more productive here? This, that, and third. So basically, you're getting, you're going, you're going into, um, you're, going, you're going to be able to, to get coached. And um, so, um, $21 billion story. Um, I'm just going to sort of skip that because we, because we, we run a long time. But main thing you need to know about this is I was scared. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, but as I was in college, but you know, I, I hustled, I hustled, and that's how I got my first big gig at. Um, at Northrop Grumman, which is a $21 billion company. And they loved me so much and I was being so productive there that they sent me back to school to get my master's degree. And that's how I got my whole master's degree paid for. All right, so these are some bonuses um, real quick that you'll be able to get just for, um, if you decide to sign up for course one, you're gonna get five group coaching calls. That's what I was just telling you about. Um, you know, these are just like nice things other people were saying about it. Um, you're going to get a free personal coaching session. That's going to be free. So I'll call you up and I'll personally coach you through whatever you want to have, whatever um, situation you're going through. And then three is you're going to get a private community. And this is going to be everybody who's trying to be productive. Like, remember, remember I told you that one of the most important things that I did for me as an entrepreneur making money in college was having people around me. And, I, and we were all like helping each other be more productive. I'm, I'm creating that culture of people. So you could always have somebody to keep you accountable. All right, so this is just a quick recap of everything. Um, you're going to get the five weeks. You're going to get the bonuses. You're going to get access to replays, and it's only $49. But I'm going to give you a quick surprise. Uh, I'm going to give you a surprise bonus. If you get this course right now, I'm going to give you free lifetime access to my upcoming membership program. I'm actually going to do a, um, I'm actually going to do a monthly membership program to where every single month we'll get on a call 
and um, I'll just train on, on, on the different area of productivity and, um, and procrastination and you'll, you know, you'll, you'll be able to interact and I'll be able to help you out. So I'm going to be starting that probably sometime next year, but if you get it now, you'll get it free for life. You'll be, you'll have access to this program. All right. So this is everything plus the um, lifetime access, uh, which is the value of $1,400, but obviously you're not going to pay that today. Only be $50 for everything. Okay. So sign up right now. Um, if you're interested, what I'm going to do is um, I'll post the link in the chat. And um, I would, I'm sorry, I, I wanted to take questions, but I'm already way over time and I, I'm trying to respect everybody's time. So if you're interested in it, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the chat right now. So let me back out of this. Um, just hold on one moment and then I'm just going to, I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you the, the link so you can, um, I'm going to give, I'm going to go here and then give you the link so you'll be able to access the course, okay? All right, hold on, give me one moment. If I could find this, um, let me put it, I'm gonna put it in the chat right, put it in the chat right now. So I hope everybody, you know, enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry that it went over a little longer than, than I wanted to, but it was, um, you know, I, I feel like it was very important to um, to show you this. And uh, hold on real quick. All right, so I'm going to tell you the website as I'm trying to figure this out. So um, so, so what it is, is um, it's TerrellJones.com. Oh, man, hold on. TerrellJones.com forward slash offers, O-F-F-E-R-S. Um, actually, actually, you know what I can do? I'll just show it to you here. This is what we do. This is what I'm gonna do right here. I'm just gonna put it here like this. Boom. Okay. Um, let me know if you can, let me know if you can, um, if you can see this. Um, if you can see this, here it is right here. I don't know why my chat is not, my chat is not working. But uh, but it, but this is it right here, okay. This is the link, and what I'll do is I'll email. I'll just email this to you as well, since since the chat is not is not working right now. Let's see. Um, all right. So since the chat is not working right now, I'm a, um, I'll email this link like right now, so you'll be able to have it. But if you want to join, you'll be able to, this is the link. So you could take it down real quick, but I'll email it to you right now. Right. So everybody, again, I thank you for joining. I thank, I thank you for participating um, today. If you have any questions, of course, you can email me and let me know. But, um, you know, but I hope to see you in the course. You know, it's a real good course. Got a lot of great feedback for it. And, um, you know, it's a money back guarantee. All right. So until next time, you continue to grind. And remember, even if you don't even join the program, remember, to, from this point on, make be more aware. Make every day more productive and remove distractions. All right, everybody. Thank you. See you soon. Oh, here we go. Now, so there you go. Now you can click the link. I was sharing my screen, so it wouldn't allow me to click the link. But there you go. All right, so now I'm looking at it. Um... All right, so this is the best info I heard in a while. Thanks, Max. I appreciate it. Thank, thanks, you, Max. Thank you, Max. And um, good stuff from Hulk Hands. Thank you. All right, so the link is in there now. And um, go ahead and um, you can click the link to access it. All right. Um, while we're doing that, um, for those who are still here, if you want, uh, or while you're clicking on the link, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna answer, um, answer this question. Uh, Max, how many hours of good sleep or how many hours of sleep is good for an entrepreneur? So, um, typically you want to have, um, they say, they say at least seven to eight hours of sleep you want to have a day. So seven to eight hours you that's what's really going to get you fully charged most people think oh i could get away with five or six i'm good i wake up don't worry about it um but the main thing is you know that's going to take a toll on your body after a while because i i used to be like that i was the type of person that always like i feel like i told you i was waking up three o'clock in the morning like running and going to sleep at like 11 o'clock 10 11 but um after a while it just takes it takes a wear on you so 
you have to, um, you got to at least try to get seven to eight hours. Right now, I'm probably on about six and a half to seven hours of sleep. So that's what you got to do. Okay. So if nobody else has any questions, um, I just posted the link in the chat. So access it if you're, if you're interested in it. If not, just continue to grind and be more productive, right? Thank you, everybody. See you soon.